Welcome Watch or Live fans, David Fine here with a Fast Fish Beach Fishing Series how-to. Guys, we are gonna make rod holders, our, be our sand spikes. And guys, how do we do this? Like, what what's the deal? It's not a big deal, it's pretty simple, but sand spikes are one of the most imperative things that you can use while beach fishing to keep your, uh, number one, have your lines out and you know, that's how you fish. But number two, it's keeping your reels out of the sand. It's super important. So you always got to make sure you bring enough rod holders to, you know, at least one for every rod. I always used to usually bring an extra one because you can throw a dip net in there. You can throw, it, they're, they're very handy. Um, I've got some different sizes for different things. And this is usually how I bundle them to bring them to the beach. I used to use these little these little plastic uh, twisties and I put a whole bunch of them in a clump and I use the twisties and twist them up and then I'll just carry them under one arm or I use my big beach bucket there and I'll just slap them in there. Uh, now guys, we are gonna make some new rod holders. These are uh, PVC pipes that I got from uh, Home Depot. Planes. At some point, this guy will do me the, the honor of getting out of my uh, YouTube video. Thank you, plain guy. All right, so guys, what we're doing is I am going to Home Depot. I, I went to Home Depot. I got some heavy duty two inch PVC. So uh, that means that the, the space here, the, the, the opening is two inches, okay? And reason being, because we use some really heavy rods with like really thick rod butts and they need to be these need to be big enough for those rod butts to get in there uh what i'll wind up doing i'll wind up sanding these edges down a little bit around the ends so that they don't cut into our rod butts when you know when their rods are in the in the rod holders these are 10 foot sections and i'm gonna make it super easy for you guys on how to make rod holders I bought two rod, uh, two PVC pipes at 10 foot sections. And guys, what I'm doing is I'm making out of one of these, I'll make, I'll just cut it in half and make two. Um, I'll make two rod holders out of one 10 foot piece. And so what I'll do is here, I've got my little, my little tree. I'll kind of gauge kind of halfway down and I'm just going to use a hacksaw a hacksaw and a little bit of sandpaper. And that's really all I need in order to make my rod holders, guys. All right, that's our halfway point right there. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut this at an angle halfway down. And I'm gonna make a little mark, okay? And I'm gonna cut this at an angle. What's up, bro? And guys, this angle will be the angle that I need to uh, drive the sand spike into the sand. This is exactly how my summer has been. After a brief intermission, Got my hacksaw back. Okay, let's cut. There we go, guys. That's the angle you want. This will allow you to drive it into the sand i have a rubber mallet um and we can drive them into the sand just like that i've got two rod holders now and now all i just need to do is get my sandpaper and a uh, little bit of sandpaper and smooth out the edges right here on the top and then i'll be ready to fish all right we got our sand spikes guys uh dead low tide it's gonna start coming in here soon uh, so guys, I got the sharp end, put it in the dirt. I have a rubber mallet. So, so what I do is like, I like to have it angled 
I always bring a rubber mallet with me, guys, because sometimes the beach sand on certain beaches is really hard. I always like to angle the, the sand spike out towards the ocean just a little bit to give us a little bit of a slant. And I can, you know, you can hammer it in pretty good. Make sure you hammer it in really, really good. Okay, the kids are catching bait. What are you guys trying to catch? <laughs> Come on, dude. Do you see poachers? Lorenzo, we got about an hour and a half to fish. Okay. All right, guys, another method. If you don't have a rubber mallet and the sand is soft. Now, this, this method might not be the most flattering for some guys. However, um, you stick it in wherever, in the sand, wherever you want. Make sure there's a slight angle. And then make sure that what you do is you can just create a suction thing where you suck all the air out. Uh, Eric, show us how we do this, son. Yeah, let's find a soft spot. Dude, soft spot. Whoa. Now, how, how did you do that? You, um, you just, someone, you just create uh, a vacuum, right? I guess so. Someone showed me that this, maybe George saw it on YouTube. Uh, that, let me, it works. It works. All right. Dude, do, do that one more time. All right. Dude Perdick's going to do the same thing. Watch how far this five foot sand spike goes down. You gotta find a soft spot. You gotta find a soft spot. No rocks, no coral. And then kind of push it in a little bit. But then once you once you create the vacuum. Too big. Oh, it's not, you just gotta use your hands. There you go. There you go. Boom. Create the vacuum and suck. And look how deep that thing goes down. Perdick, bada bing. That's it. Angle it a little bit out. Yeah, that's good. That went down about a foot and a half. Yep. Beautiful. Give it a little pound. There you go. All right. We're good. We're ready to fish. Yeah.